I'm here today with the Archaeopteryx Challenge. Uh, Darwin's theory of evolution from common ancestors predicted that we could find fossils of intermediate forms, creatures that bridge the gaps between modern species. Since his theory was published, the Archaeopteryx was found, which seems to show a bridge between reptiles and birds. Uh, this is one of the most famous intermediate forms and let's look at some of the features. We're going to begin with the most obvious one which is feathers. All modern birds have feathers and modern reptiles don't but it turns out in 1998 dinosaurs were discovered that possess feathers. The other was the position of the toes. In this sample it was thought to resemble a perching bird, but more recent discoveries in 2005 show that they are more like dinosaur toes. There's also possession of the furcula or wishbone. It has been also found to be possessed by dinosaurs uh, since 1993. When we look at the pubis, it's elongate and backwards. This is a feature of birds, but it's also a feature of some dinosaurs. Now let's look at the premaxilla and maxilla. It's not horn covered as in birds, meaning it just doesn't have a bill or a beak. Now the trunk region vertebra are free. In birds, these are always fused together. Just look at your Thanksgiving turkey sometime and you'll see what I mean. Now we also discovered that the bones of the Archaeopteryx are pneumatic, uh, hollow like in birds. Uh, they appear to have air sacs but this is also a feature shared with some dinosaurs. Now the pubic shafts are plate-like and have a slightly angled transverse cross section, a character show, shared with some dinosaurs but not with other dinosaurs or birds. When we look at the shape of the brain, we see that the shape of the brain of the Archaeopteryx would be more lizard-like than bird-like. And also the neck attaches to the skull from the rear, as in dinosaurs, and not from underneath, as is found in modern birds. Now let's look at the center of the cervical vertebra. They have simple concave articular facets. Not like in modern birds where they are have a saddle shaped surface. Next feature is a long bony tail with many free vertebra all the way up to the tip. Whereas in modern birds they have a short tail and the caudal vertebra are fused together. Now let's look at the premaxilla and the maxilla bones. They bear teeth. No modern bird possesses teeth, although the embryos do form tooth buds, but they do not produce teeth. Now in the Archaeopteryx, the ribs are slender, and they don't have joints, and they do not articulate with the sternum, whereas in birds, they do articulate with the sternum. The next is the pelvic girdle and femur joint is more like a dinosaur than in a bird and here it shows its true transitional nature. Next point is the sacrum and these vertebra are only six whereas in modern birds they are 11 to 23. Again more like a reptile than a bird. Now let's look at the metacarpals or the hand. You see that they are free and they have a wrist hand joint which is flexible. This is as in reptiles in birds these are fused together. Next we have the nasal opening which is far forward separated from the eye much like a reptile and not like a bird. Then there's the deltoid ridge of the humerus. It faces anteriorly. Typical of reptiles but not found in birds. Now we'll next notice that there are claws on these three unfused digits. No modern adult bird has three claws nor do they have unfused digits. And this is again more like a reptile than a bird. Now the fibula is equal in length to the tibia in the leg. Typical in the character of reptiles. In birds these are shortened and reduced. The metatarsals or foot bones are free whereas in modern birds the foot bones are initially 
separate in the embryo, but they are fused in the adult. Next we have the gastralia. These are ventral ribs found in reptiles and absent in birds. So I'd just like to point out that I got a lot of this information from talkorigins.org and uh, just to clear up whether Archaeopteryx is just another bird. Let me say, if you see one of these coming around your bird feeder this winter, I would call the newspapers right away. It's not just another bird. Thank you.